Hitman Edgar Matabato says he is determined to face the consequences of his actions and statements following his surrender. Le Ilagan is back to tell us why. Ako, handa na ako yung buhay ko, nandoon naman, binigay ko naman sa Diyos. At saka kung ano man mangyari sa akin, wala na akong magagawa. Basta itama ko lang yung pagkamali ko. Self-confessed hired killer Edgar Matobato is ready to face his future following his surrender to the Philippine National Police this morning. He was turned over by Senator Antonio Trillanes de Fort following the issuance of a warrant of arrest by the Davao City Municipal Trial Court against him for not attending the hearing of the case which he is facing. For his part, PNP Chief Police Director General Ronald Bato de la Rosa assures Matobato's safety while he is in police custody. We will issue him with bulletproof vest, helmet, Kevlar helmet, with bulletproof uh, goggles, bulletproof mask, lahat. I-armorize natin yung buong katawan niya. Hindi magagalaw sa niya. Upon his arrival at Camp Krame, he immediately went through the booking process such as mag shot, fingerprint, and medical examination. The general also says that Matobato will remain in Camp Krame over the weekend and he will be sleeping at the custodial center. Temporary lang ito, no? Remember, available yung kaso niya. So... Dadaanan lang yung kailangan pagdaanan, yung uh, pag-post niya ng bail, pag-arrain uh, sa kanya, then uh, kukuhanin ko ulit siya yung, uh, yung custody. At hindi natin siya papabayaan. Bato says that on Monday, CIDG personnel have to bring him to the court in Davao which issued an arrest warrant as part of the process. Leia Ilagan, UNTV News and Rescue, Camp Krame.